How could we live a simpler life? Not a life full of less, not a life that subtracts from your existence, but a life that is abundant in simplification, in simple pleasures, simple joys, in the simple pursuit of happiness. What can you do now so that by the end of this year, because it's coming up, Biscuits, you can have a happier, simpler life. Now, my Patreon, I talk a lot about this pursuit of happiness. How do we turn self-care into a mechanism in every part of our lives to pursue happiness and to truly make an abundance of happiness in our lives? And for a lot of people, that means simplifying. So one big thing I hear from people is that you're just overwhelmed. Too much, too much, too much is on your plate. Too much on your shoulders, too much on your mind, too much in your agenda, too much to go wrong, to dissatisfy, to disappoint. And that's part of why a simpler, more streamlined life sounds so appealing because it feels like there's too much going on. It's making you vibrate too fast. How can you slow that down? Well, you must have to take things away. And so a lot of times people see that as very minimalistic. You know, I see a lot of capture wardrobes, throwing out everything you own. If it doesn't spark you joy, get rid of it immediately. Um, you know, take a less stressful job that is going to pay less. Move into a smaller home. Downsize, downsize, downsize everything in your life. And maybe you're at a point in your life where downsizing doesn't quite work for you, right? Maybe your family is expanding, your life is expanding. You want a simpler life, not a smaller life. And there's nothing wrong with downsizing. That can be a route for really big happiness for a lot of people. Haha, <laughs> big happiness when you're downsizing. <laughs> Mom jokes. But when you don't want to shrink, you want to simplify, you've got to look at the horizontal cross section of your life, right? Where are all these things meeting? And what on this plane right here Without shrinking it, what can you put aside? What can you put for the future? How can you make your point A when you wake up in the morning to the end of your day, how can you make that more streamlined? Simpler, less stressful, less anxiety inducing, right? And the first thing you've got to do is you've really got to look at your life. You know, tell me in the comments, what is a way that you see simplification helping you? What is it in your life that when you really look at it, what immediately stands out? What on that plane of things that have to be, what is it that stands out to you that is really triggering so much of this feeling that you need to simplify? And once you, you've you actually taken a look at that and you've actually spent some time on it, and it's not easy. It does not, it's not necessarily the things we first think of that are actually what simplifies our life, right? So for me, you know, this year I was thinking, do I want to pull back on working so much? Um, is that going to simplify my life? You know, do I want to downsize our living space? Do I want to um, try to delegate this or that? Like what is going to help me? And those are the immediate things that came to mind. And what I really discovered was that my way of simplifying was going to be finding more meaningful tasks and focusing on those letting the tasks that had less meaningful integrity and happiness to them just slip away. Just simplify those out, right? Streamline them away. And it wasn't a less mentality. It was a quality mentality. And that's what I needed to simplify is I really needed to be focusing on an abundance of quality and not of subtracting things out of my life that couldn't be subtracted, right? Sometimes we have X amount of things and people and agendas that we have to adhere to. And that is just the season of our life that we are in right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when we take a look at our lives and we really approach it and actually genuinely step back without ego, without like our attachment to, I really gotta have it this way or this is how I visualized it, really look at it and see how are we manifesting that simplified beautiful life? Are we actually taking the steps to manifest or are we just sitting here being overwhelmed and anxious and not actually doing the steps that will lead us to be happy? 
So taking that first step is such a big one. It's something I'm talking about all month on Patreon is getting going, starting, taking that first step to where we will find that happiness. So take a look at your life. See where it is that you want to focus that concept, and that's personal concept, of simplifying your life. And from there, we expand it out to a happier, easier life. It's pretty cool if you think about it. Okay, Biscuits, I'm going to see you over on my Instagram while I go film silly reels. Oh, yeah. It's my, my real dance. Apparently, I have a reels dance. I don't dance like this on the reels, but maybe that's like my motivation to go film them. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. I hope you are having a fantastic day.